Hey guys, Max here from AppStoreReviewers.com and today I'm here to review an app called The Most Useful Soundboard developed by Nix Productions, that's N-I-C-S Productions and um, it's also developed by Hamish D222 um, on YouTube and the annotation link will be right there. So anyways, um, I'll just give you a quick description of this app. It's a soundboard with four different, it's um, it's an app with four different soundboards. Now, um, this app costs a dollar. Would I say it's really worth the dollar? No, I actually wouldn't because um, I would actually give this app a four out of 10 apples because it's really not that useful. Um, personally, I don't have any need to use this app ever. I don't know what the point of it is. Not such a great inf interface, but um, show you it anyways. I'm just doing this to review to get it out there and because it was requested by the YouTuber HamishD222. So um, his link to his channel is in the description. So let's get into the review. Cut to the intro, camera guy. Hey guys, so here's the App Store Reviewers wallpaper um, link in the description to download it. So I'll just go ahead and unlock my iPod here. So um, I've got most useful soundboard over here on my home screen on the third page. And um, it's labeled as soundboard with a, a picture of a soundboard. So let's go ahead and launch it. The most useful soundboard, some links under that, the YouTube channel. So um, just press dismiss, select soundboard, and start playing sound. So there are four soundboards here. There's a fart soundboard. Ah, uh, sorry. There's a fart soundboard. Um, it's really pretty much um, useless. They used a picture in the background. Kind of funny picture. Then there's a Daft Punk soundboard. I'm a bit of a fan of Daft Punk, so I like this. See, I'm kind of taken from the idea of the iDaft application, a soundboard specially made for um, Daft Punk, which is this. So, um, it's a little louder on the iDaft app. So, that's pretty cool. Um, you've got your beat, symbol, symbol 2, pop, faster 2. Um, then you've got an Ali G soundboard, one of Sasha Baron Cohen's characters. So, you've got some... Uh, picture of Ali G in the background. Now it's pretty useless. I don't know why it's called most useful soundboard. Um, but anyways, it's kind of funny. So that's pretty funny. Um, then you've got some other lines from Ali G. Moving on, you've got a Borat soundboard, another one of Sasha Baron Cohen's characters. Obviously, this person's a big fan of Sasha Baron Cohen. So you've got some things that Borat says in his movie. That kind of thing. So uh, back to the app. Then you've got a contact thing here. So you can view the website, the YouTube channel, and email them with suggestions. Um, that's actually all the app has. It's a pretty big menu for such little such a little amount of um uh options so that is most useful soundboard developed by nix productions that's n-i-c-s productions on the app store and um hamish d triple two on youtube link in the description and right there so anyways um it's a do uh, it's um one dollar on the app store 99 cents I would give it 4 out of 10 apples, really not a useful app for me, um, but you make the choice if you want to download it, and so that is most useful soundboard, so um, anyways, see you in the next review, I know it's been a while since I did a review, I'm going to get back into the habit, so Max here from the App Store Reviewers, signing, oh wait, wait, and if you haven't seen our latest App Talk episode, it's our birthday video, plus a remix of um, all the app reviews that we've done in the last year that Reese made. Thank you, Reese. You did an amazing job and also mystery guitar man thing. Pretty funny. Anyways, Max here from the App Store Reviewers and AppStoreReviewers.com signing out.